How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Sick Air Tech, and today we're going to be talking about the Google Pixel 9. I did order my Google Pixel 9 a couple of days ago, and I'm very excited about it. I got it in the Peon Me color, and it is pretty much the most prettiest phone I've ever seen. And yeah, I'm excited to get it. Hopefully, uh, it's preparing shipments soon. And yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, first and foremost, the whole drama of the whole Team Pixel thing. Thankfully, I am not a part of that. This channel is too darn small for that. And it's kind of funny because a long time ago, I would always wish I was a part of Team Pixel and, you know, jealous. And it was like, man, I wish Google could send me a phone. That would be freaking awesome. And it's a good thing I'm not. So, yeah, I ordered the actual uh, Pixel 9 and the 256 variant in the peony color. And I'm very excited. So, yeah, I actually got it with my own money. And yeah, hopefully we get that soon. It's preparing shipments. So yeah, the order is actually almost going through and it says it's going to be uh, delivers August 22nd through Friday, August 23rd. And like I said, shipment is being delivered and I actually did a, a uh, trade in. So I traded in a Galaxy S24, the base model 128. They're giving me $400 for that. So I think that's pretty cool. The only thing I don't like is paying up front for everything. And then they refund you, which apparently, yeah, they've always done this. Samsung does that a little bit better. And I think OnePlus 2 also takes it off instantly. Uh, I could be mistaken on that. But yeah, Samsung is definitely way better on their trade-in thing about taking it off instantly. But still, regardless, we are getting the Pixel 9 in the PNE color in 256 gigabytes. And I'm excited. I do tend not to hold on to my Pixel devices for a long time. Like I've had the 7 Pro, I ended up trading that in for, um, I believe it was a Galaxy Z Flip 5. I don't even have that phone anymore. I got rid of that one. Uh, I remember I had the Pixel 7a, fantastic phone, but the 7 Pro, I remember it always having issues with the overheating and recording video. So it was kind of annoying at some times. Uh, the Pixel 7a was actually pretty good it didn't have any issues and then I also had the Pixel 8 from last year and I don't have that phone anymore either I got rid of it so I tend not to hold on to my Pixel devices for that long but hopefully I do see myself holding on to this one just because it looks promising I'm very excited so some of the specs out of the way so it's going to have Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the front and on the back so that's really nice I love the design of this whole new camera visor and the pill shape on the back of the camera that looks freaking awesome i love the colors so the colors this one comes in is going to be obsidian porcelain winter green and the peony color and i think the winter green is pretty much the mint color so that's that's really cool and of course you got the 9 and 9 the 9 pro and the 9 pro xl those are more expensive i'm talking about the regular pixel you know since everybody's going to be covering the pro and the pro xl i'm sure Every YouTuber is going to have those, and I thought it would be kind of cool to get the regular model. That way, people could have coverage of that one as well. And the display is 6.3 inches uh, OLED, 120 hertz, will support HDR10+, plus, so that's really, really nice. And it will have a resolution of 1080 by 2424, so a little bit weird on the numbers there. 422 pixels per inch, so... It's going to be a very bright display, I believe coming in about close to 3,000 nits, 2,700 nits peak brightness. So it's going to be a really bright, beautiful display. Uh, not LTPO like the Pro and the Pro XL, but I really don't care about that. It doesn't bother me as long as it's 120 hertz, bright and beautiful. I don't care about the display, you know, and all, as long as it's an OLED too, I do not like LCD displays. Uh, we'll have an always on display, of course, um, and it will come with... 12 gigabytes of RAM instead of 8 gigabytes like it has been in the past. All the base model pixels have been having 8 gigabytes of RAM and that is another issue that I did not like. They always had lower RAM. They performed okay. Gosh, I wish Google would move away from the Tensor chipsets and just give us Snapdragon. You will have the Google Tensor uh, 4 on here so it's a newer chipset. supposed to be a little bit more power efficient. Samsung could do all of the AI features using a Snapdragon, so I don't see why Google continues with the Tensor. It's not as good as a Snapdragon, but what can you do? It is what it is. 
It's just I wish they would move away from the Tensor and just start giving a Snapdragon. So yeah, Tensor G4 is going to be on the new Pixel. Uh, the cameras I'm excited about because we do get an upgrade now on the camera system. 50 megapixels for that main sensor, so that's really, really cool. 48 megapixels for that ultra-wide, which is going to be really, really nice. You will be able to record up to 4K, 60 frames per second, so no 8K video on that, but who the hell uses 8K anyways? And the front-facing camera, 10.5 megapixels. You will be able to record at 4K, 60 on that front-facing camera. Always good to see. Love it. Uh, as far as everything else, it's pretty basic. Bluetooth 5.3, you know, uh, Wi-Fi, of course. The in-display fingerprint sensor on all of these is moving away from your optical and it's going ultrasonic. Yes, Samsung uses ultrasonic fingerprint sensors on their devices. So Google is now going to be bringing that along and that's going to be really, really nice to be more, you know, precise in your fingerprint, not just taking a picture of it. It's actually reading it really, really well and be more secure and you don't get that bright light. You know, if you're at night and you're trying to unlock your phone, you're not blinded by a light. So that's another feature. Uh, battery could be a little bit higher, but I think 4,700 milliamps might do okay. It's not 5,000. And I think the battery life, depending on the chipset, it could go either way. Pixels really, in my past uh, experience, have not had the best battery life. I think the Pixel 7 Pro uh, wasn't the best in battery. I think the Pixel 8 was actually really good in battery life. And the Pixel 7a, had decent battery life as well but i remember the 7 pro was not that great in the battery department so hopefully things change and we get better battery life on the pixel 9s you get 27 watt wire charging and 15 watt wireless charging so that's really really nice y'all you will also get reverse wireless on here as well and like i said for the colors obsidian porcelain wintergreen and peony so yeah i'm very excited to get the pixel and yeah I'm not really going to go into the whole Team Pixel thing because luckily I'm not a part of that. I see everybody on YouTube trying to defend themselves and go on that they're not Team Pixel or they quit or they got kicked out. That's really, really good. People should be honest with their reviews and not be paid or get sent a phone and think that they have to praise the phone just because they sent it to them for free. People need to be honest with this. You know, there's a lot of people watching these videos and they come to these big YouTubers for advice on whether or not they should buy the phone. So yeah, pretty much that is what I'm here to talk about. I'm excited about the new Pixel and I'm excited to get it in the house and hopefully uh, it will ship out soon. I would try to keep posted on when it ships maybe. I don't know if I should do videos on that. Comment down below if you want updates on when it gets shipped. But as far as my order, preparing shipment right now. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, Give it a thumbs down and I will see you next time here on Sick Eric Tech. Peace.